Yeah, strip these are the pieces. Put down her on that. We're taking off her clothes. I put you on by sparing my mind. I put you on as an audience. I wear you as my coat. I put you on as an audience. And Echo Land would give you ecology. The entire world of TV with its dialogue and its talk shows and its probing and its resonant world. Echo, Echo Land, ecology, with both Echo and Echo and Echo. That's the position of unconnected and unseemly unrelated parts sets up a resonance on music in all these fragmentary poems that is very carefully contrived. It's like the dancers giving a sense of the by fragments uh, to all sides of an object at the same time. You do that by fragmentation, but actually it is a very unified effect. It's just a little bit of a These fragments I have shown to be from the one. There's a fascinating thing about this whole construction. In the front is this, I think, that he knew exactly the effect he wants to have on that, on his age. Not on Eliot, but on the he, he uh, thought of poetry as performing a particular function at, of um, updating consciousness. And so whatever I would talk it in some irrelevant rhythm, something from the Georgians, something from the Victorians, or something from some other culture that was not relevant and simply said out. Because he wanted to affect the specific effect of a new awareness. The guys in Spurno could be carefully called parts of other cultures, arranged in a tremendous mosaic of world culture, east and west, all times present, and all in dramatic action. They felt that history was now. They didn't think of it as past at all. It was immediately here and necessary for our nutrition. They felt that everything that had ever happened in the world was now and was available for nutrition. But the nutrition of impulse and creativity, they wanted a new diet for everybody. And they fed them on the riches of the ages. They really had instant access in the 20th century to practically all the cultures of the world. And the other was through anthropology, the James Fraser world, through the world of myth and archetype or through the uh, archaeology and uh, the um, range of knowledge available to the 20th century is beyond uh, any other period. By this uh, external uh, extension of sentimental system electronically, we're being forced increasingly to contemplate the need for a collective consciousness.